Okay, you guys, this video is going to be short and sweet. Um, I'm just going to go over the news events on this video. And then on the next video, I'm going to go ahead and do a chart breakdowns for the week. Uh, I decided I'm going to go ahead and keep them separate. All right, so here we go. So here's what we're looking at for this week coming up. As far as news, um, I only seen just a few events. Euro's coming out with the PMI numbers, but that's only one sector of the European uh, Union. You have, this is going to be the big one for me, these two right here. So I'll go ahead and highlight these in yellow. Okay, right there. And this is the times that according to uh, my uh, Forex factory, this is the times that these events are going to be happening. So right here, you have the AUD. You know, I guess I better add a color to that as well. Okay, so AUD is coming out with their interest rates on Tuesday around 12.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then you have the pound coming out with their interest rates at 7 o'clock on Thursday morning Eastern Standard Time or New York Time. Okay, and then you have the growth rates and this and that, which, which really ain't that important to me. Uh, so the big two this week is only going to be these two, which is a really good thing. Now, that doesn't mean that other news events won't just spark out in the blue and stuff like that. So you really want to be careful. But at least uh, this is all we see. Um, also, in the copycat group, we're still at 81.16%. Uh, we were at, uh, we did... Uh, uh, eight wins and three losses last week. So we are back on track. Um, I told you guys there was a really, really bad economic storm, but we weathered the storm. And so we're back on track. And so we should be having a very good trading week this week. Okay, you guys. So I'll see you in the next video for my chart markups. Thank you very much.